So what is the middle term of the sequence given? So first point, what you need to uh, figure out here is on what basis they have formed this sequence, right? What is the pattern they have followed? Let's analyze that. So here you can see that Z is coming how many times? Two times. Y is coming how many times? Three times. So you, they start with this Z, then Y, X, it's coming four times, then W. So it's on the reverse pattern. From Z, it starts with Z, then it goes backward until A, right? So I can see that Z is there two times, then comes Y, is there three times, then X is uh, four times, then comes W, which is there five times, goes on like that until you reach alphabet A. So I can see that there are 26 alphabets, right? It's 26 alphabets. And I know that Z is repeating two times, Y is three, the first letter is repeating two times then it's three goes on like that so 26th letter will be repeating how many times 27 times because you are adding one right first letter is repeating two times you are adding one to it second letter is three times adding one third letter is repeating four times adding one so 26th letter will be repeating 27 times so this is the total sequence here so first to find the middle term we need to figure out first thing is how many terms are there in the sequence that's the first part. How many terms are there? So I need to add all of them, right? So it's going to be 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 until you need to add until 27. So it's not a practical idea to add like this. So you should, you should always use the formulas, right? That comes in handy. I know that some of the n natural numbers, some of the first n natural numbers, you know the formula, right? n into n plus 1 by 2. This will give you the sum of the first n natural numbers. So here I can use it here. For example, if, if the sum of all the natural numbers until 27, like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 until 27, I can use this formula to find out. So once I got the sum of this, I just need to subtract this one. You will get this, this result, right? That's it. So n is equal to 27 here. So it's going to be the sum is going to be 27 times 27 plus 1 is 28 divided by 2, which will give you 14 here. So 27 times 14, I think it's... Uh, um, 378, yeah, 378. So 378 is a total sum of all the natural numbers from 1 to 27, okay? But here, I don't need that 1. The starting number is 2. So what I need to do, you just need to subtract 1 from that. So the total number of sequence here is 377 terms are there in this sequence. The total sequence, there are 377 terms. So I need to find the middle term. So the middle term here is going to be the middle term. Middle term is going to be. So when there are odd number of terms, the middle term will be, you just need to add 1 to it. So 377 plus 1, you divide that by 2. So it's going to be equal to 378 by 2, which is same as 1, 8, 9th term. This is going to be your middle term. So remember when there are odd number of terms, to find the middle term, what do you need to do? You just add 1 to it, then you divide by 2. That will give you the middle term. So, 189th term will be your answer here. The middle term of the sequence is 189. So, the next step is I need to figure out what would be the 189th term in the sequence. Let's start with that, okay? So, starting from Z, right? Z, you have, uh, then it's going to be Y, goes on like that. Then you have the middle term. Then you have the remaining terms and the ending is 8. A. The last term is going to be A. So here there will be 188 terms and here there will be 188. So, so that this is going to be 189th term. So total there are 377 terms right in total that we just now found out. So what I'm going to do I'm going to start with the back of the series here because I know that A is repeating 27. So it's easy for you to calculate what would be the 189th term if you start from the end. So A, I know it's 27. B, I know it's 26. C, I know it's 25. D, I know it's uh, 24. E, I know it's 23. F, it's 22. G is uh, 21. Yeah. And uh, H is 20. It goes on like that, right? 20 goes on like that. So your answer is going to be either H, I, 
J M goes on like that. So it would be either. So it, the answer will be in this range. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate the sum of all the numbers here, and whether I'm checking whether it's equal to one eighty eight or not. If it is less, that means I will include one more letter. That's it. That's the basic logic I'm doing here. Okay. So let's start from. It's easy to add it because you just need to calculate how many twenties uh, are there. So let's start from here. Okay. Let's start from. Uh, this term, or you can start from G. It's up to you. Whichever it's possible, you just need to do it. Like we start from G here, so it's twenty one plus twenty two until twenty seven. I need to add it, right? How many twenties are there? There are seven twenties are there. So the sum is going to be twenty into seven plus one plus two plus three up till seven. So it's going to be sum of uh, first seven natural numbers. So it's going to be seven into seven plus one is eight by two, which is equal to four. Seven fours are twenty eight. So your answer is. 140 plus 28 it's going to be 168 terms so from here until here you have 168 so that means you need uh you need to include one more term so let's say i'm including h here so 20 more here so 168 plus 20 is 188 that makes sense right so h will be completed so all the uh h is coming there 20 times so If I include this all together, you will exactly get one eighty eight. So one sixty eight plus twenty, that will give you one eighty eight. So one eighty nine term will definitely will be the letter above H. Correct? It's going to be I will be the right answer. So I will be there coming there nineteen times, and uh, the last I last uh, last repetition of I will be the one eighty ninth term. After that. It will be start with H, so one eighty ninth term will be option B. I is the right answer here. So this is a calculation intensive question. I agree. It will take some time to calculate it because first thing is you need to understand, identify the pattern, figure out the total number of terms. Then you will need to find out what is the middle term. Then figure out a logic to find out what would be the middle term. And you can see all the answers are very close by. So if you make a single mistake somewhere in the calculation, you'll end up in marking the wrong answer. Always keep that in mind. You should be very focused when you do these type of questions, as well as when you have the answer cho choices close by. You should be extra cautious.